Hi everyone. Welcome to Miss Angela's classroom. I am Miss Angela and we are here for Tuesday mini class. Welcome everyone. Guys, I had a new bedtime story last night. Do you guys have a bedtime story? I had one last night and I read a book called Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs. Have you ever read this book? I really, really love the story. Guys, what do you think the story is about? The title was Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs. Yes, the meatballs and the spaghetti. This is how we describe weather. Have you ever heard the um, the weather caster talking in the television. They say today is going to be sunny. Or sometimes they say today is going to be cloudy with a chance of shower. That means it's going to be mostly cloudy and there's a chance of getting shower. But this book is called Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Yes, right. Their weather was weird. So this story is about a town called Chuenswalo. This is the name of the town, Chuenswalo. In the Chuenswalo town, they got a weird weather. They got food from the sky as a weather. So sometimes it rained soup. Sometimes it rained juice, and sometimes it snowed mashed potato. And sometimes it blew in the tornado of hamburgers. Yes, I don't know if that's going to be a good thing or not, not a good thing, but they sometimes got tornado of hamburgers. Well, the good thing in this Chuen Swallow town woods, people didn't need to buy food because they can get the food from the sky. They get breakfast in the breakfast time. They get lunch in the lunch time. They get dinner in the dinner time. So guys, I wanted to see uh, how much food they get. So I made this one. This chart. And this is what happened in the Chuen Swallow town one day. Do you guys want to help me to count? I'm going to put it on the board. All right. Okay. Can you see better? because I want you to help me to count. So look, uh, I wonder how many hamburgers they got this day. So this is hamburger, right? Let's count how many hamburgers they got. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, they got six hamburgers. All right. I'm going to write number six under hamburger here. Mm, they got six hamburgers. Mm, how about the pasta? How many pastas did they get? Let's see. One. Two. Three, four, five. Oh, they got five pasta. All right. And I'm gonna read five pasta. And the next, strawberry. They got strawberries too. How many strawberries did they get? Can you find strawberry? Hmm, the strawberries are not colored. So it might be a little tricky, but 
open your eyes wide, and then let's see. Here, here's one, one, oh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Yes, nine strawberries. All right, let's put nine. Ooh, they got nine strawberries. What else did they get this day? They got ketchup bottles. Ketchup. Let's see how many bottles of ketchup did they get? Uh, one, two, three, four. Ah, they got four bottles of ketchup. I'm gonna write number four here. And let's see. The last thing that I wanna count is broccoli. Can you spy broccoli here? Yeah, over here. Okay, let's see how many are there. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten broccolis. Wow. Wow. Okay, let's see what they got. I know you guys see the eggs as well, right? Yeah, they got some eggs as well. But I didn't put it in my chart because there was no more space. But you can count how many eggs there are, too. Do you want to count together? Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, they got seven eggs. Okay, so this day, the Twins Follow Town got seven eggs, six hamburgers, five pasta, nine strawberries, and four bottles of ketchup, 10 broccolis. I don't know if it was their breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I am not sure about that, but this is what they got on the same day. Wow, nice. Hamburger, pasta, strawberry, ketchup, and some vegetables, broccolis. Good. Okay, do you want to see the other day? I made one more chart. This is what happened on the other day. Okay, let's count this one. So I'm gonna remove this one. And we're gonna, we have to erase this number, right? This number. And let's see the other day. Okay. Oh, what do you see, guys? You see cakes uh, and some oranges. And, oh, do you know what it is? I think it's jello. Maybe it's lime flavor, kiwi flavor, because it's green, but I'm not sure. But it is jello. And, oh, they got ice cream. Uh, they got pineapples. All right, all right. You can help me to count, all right? So let's count how many cakes there are first. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven cakes. All right. Let's write seven here. Hmm. And let's see how many ice creams they got. Uh, ice cream. So one, two, three, four, five. They got five ice cream. All right. How about this green jello? Green jello. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. 
seven jellos. Oh, well, same number for the cakes, right? Seven cakes, seven jellos. Okay, how about pineapples? Do you like pineapples? I like pineapples. Let's see how many they got. One, uh, two, three, four. They got four pineapples. Wow, I'm gonna be really happy if I get four pineapples from the sky. All right, lastly, let's count how many oranges they got. Okay, hmm. this looks like a lot, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yay, they got 12 oranges. Yeah, good for them because the orange is healthy. It's good for your body, right? Great. So all together, they got seven cakes, five ice cream, seven jellos, four pineapples, 12 oranges. Oh, maybe I think it was their dessert time, right? Look what they got. They got cakes, ice cream, dessert, jello, dessert pineapple, oranges. Well, they can be part of breakfast and lunch as well. But because we see these sweet, I think it was their dessert time. Hmm, nice. This must be a good day because they got yummy dessert. Right? All right, so guys, so guys, one more thing that I want to share. When I read the book, Cloudy with the Chance of Meatball, it reminds me a song. Do you know this song? If all the rain drops and lemon drops and gum drops. Do you guys know this song? Now, do you want to learn? Because this song is about the Chu and Swallow Town, actually. Okay, mm -hmm. do you guys want to hear? Okay. It goes like this. If all the rain drops and lemon drops and gum drops, oh, what a rain that would be. Standing us out with my mouth open wide. Ah, 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 ah. If all the rain drops and lemon drops and gum drops, oh, what a rain that would be. Fun, right? And that's really about the True and Swallow Town, right? Okay, so before we finish today's mini class, how about we sing this song together one more time? Okay, one, two, three, go. If all the rain drops and lemon drops and gum drops, oh, what a rain that would be. Standing us out with my mouth open wide, Ah, 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 ah. If all the rain drops and lemon drops and gum drops, oh, what a rain that would be. Good job, guys. So, guys, do you guys want to hear the full story about the Chu and Swallow Town? You can grab the book. I got my book from the library. So, this book is called Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. So check your library to get the book, okay? All right, so that's it for today's mini class. Oh, if you guys want to do the, the I Spy game, this, you can find it on the blog post, Everyday Funny Blog, all right? Okay, that's it for today. So thank you for coming to today's class and I'm going to see you guys next Tuesday again, okay? Bye, everyone.